I thought I'd do a quick little update on the progress so far for the uh, greenhouse. We have what overall Dave did here and a little bit by Horatio and Bobby Bison and Homer too, but mostly overall Dave started clearing this out a little bit with the uh, bulldozer and then we got our front loader in. So I've been out here digging down. We want to go seven feet deep so we can put in some underground air vents. So uh, we're about five feet down now. I've got this area started to clear out. And I went down this path. And then I also came down from this path. I had two points of access from the driveway between that tree and those trees. And then between those trees and the far end of where the greenhouse is going to be. So, we're pretty deep here. I guess we're probably five, almost six feet from the bottom of where I've gone to so far up to the top. And then if we look here, I've got these swaths are about six feet wide that the, uh, that the front end loader will take out. So I've got six, 12, 18, 24, 30 feet wide from this side, and then probably another 20 feet from that side. Now what I'm doing, if you see here, we had originally pushed all the topsoil over to here so we can use it later in planter boxes. And what little remains, I'm scraping off the top as I go and then taking the sand from underneath. And over here had been a huge sinkhole, about the size of a swimming pool, and six feet deep or so. And I completely filled that up with sand so we can dig it out easily later. In addition to that, I have this big pile of topsoil, which is about seven feet tall. And I ran out of room for getting that in where I was taking the tractor down to uh, dig deeper. So I started another pile over here that's probably 10 feet wide and 4 feet deep of topsoil. So all that topsoil should be able to fill up our planting boxes either in the greenhouse or in the garden. Um, that back pile back there will be used to insulate the back north side wall of the greenhouse along with any extra sand we need here and eventually the greenhouse the back half will be underground the whole thing will be about three feet underground and then glass covering the rest of it so we get plenty of sunlight and plenty of thermal mass to gain heat during the day that'll blow through the underground tubes we'll cover those underground tubes with about three or four feet of soil um, and that should leave us with three or four feet of the rest of the greenhouse underground. During the day, we'll take the hot air from the top of the greenhouse and with a blower, blow it underground to heat the soil under the greenhouse. And then at night, the heat can radiate up into the greenhouse to keep it warm. So that's where we're at with the greenhouse so far. Got lots more to go, but we're making good progress. I was happy yesterday to be finally able to break through from that path over there to this path over here so that's where we're at if you like what we're doing feel free to subscribe to our channel and like the video and if you want continue with us on our journey to building this beautiful greenhouse hopefully eventually we'll have some uh some tropical fruit trees in there because the roof should be high enough to grow like orange and grapefruit trees and stuff like that so Thanks a lot for joining us. This is Homesteader Horatio signing off.